Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel guys. Sorry my videos are late today like I explained. I've had, I thought, 16 inches of snow. It's more like 24 inches. Oh my God. My neighbor came over guys and helped me plow my driveway out. So thank you. And they tried to pay the fella, but he wouldn't take a penny. So it's really nice to have neighbors and people who are helpful. Now I'll have to do something kind for him in exchange, but I really don't know what. But I know I got something in mind. What a kind soul to do that. I mean, uh, there is a lot of snow. Poor Tucker, he would have been buried in it. He tried to go outside this morning to go pee and he couldn't find the steps, a poor little soul. So I got out there as fast as I could to shovel him some um, pathways so he could move around. This is the second huge dump of snow like major the roads are a disaster everybody's running around in four-wheel drive i have a pickup truck and my entire box is full like past the rear window that's how much snow snowed overnight guys it's crazy so thank you for your patience guys thank you i'm so excited sagittarius we're going to be doing another giveaway, guys, coming up very soon. And I'm not going to give any clues yet until the product is ready and ready to go out the door. So you'll want to be a subscriber, Sagittarius, and I will be posting very soon what the giveaway prize is going to be. Like, we're talking manifestations here, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Hmm. A gift. Something is in... Just what I said. Something is in motion here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What's going on? Something to do with building a business, a corporate job, power, earning power, building a business, grinding here with gears, money flow, hard work, putting plans in motion, a building, building, building for your security. Hmm. Uh. You might be moonlighting, doing the night shift, doing something. Uh, it's a gift. Sudden windfall, generosity, financial support, work surprise, a vacation, steady income, organizing accomplishments, art, design, home-oriented, self-employed. The rose, financial relief, being content, loving care. Your career is in a supportive role, job security, and growing treasure. Sag, I love this for you. Long-term investments, financial commitments. Sagittarius, this is awesome news. A lot of you are going to become self-employed or stepping up in the positions you already have, making career changes, focusing in in your manifestation. Everything is in motion. You might be doing part-time work. You might be moonlighting, doing things on the side to earn extra money, providing for your future. I love it, Sagittarius. Oh, you fricksters. Oh. And somebody is just behind you willing to steal what you have worked for, Sagittarius, because you are getting some kind of sudden wealth, so beware of thieves. Mm. You could be buying a new house or doing real estate. So as I was just talking about the neighborhood, 
you know, this could be a neighborhood watch. Maybe there actually is a burglar around the neighborhood casing out your house, checking out your possessions, the neighborhood to keep an eye on your possessions, to keep an eye on your house, particularly if you're traveling or going on a vacation. Oh, Jesus. This is the courthouse. Family room. Private. Private family matters. Keep everything a secret, Sagittarius. Be especially to do with what you're manifesting. Keep everything a secret, what you're working on, what you're doing, what your plans are. Because it's seeming like, okay. You could be getting a promotion, a raise, increases in money. going on yeah. someone is around you telling half truths so there is a thief hmm. Sag it's looking like there's a mature man here who's with someone, another energy around them is a thief. Now, I don't know if you're this mature man getting stalked. There's someone around with dark thoughts, murky thoughts, Sagittarius. Hmm. What do the angels have to say about this? great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication, the star. A dream is coming true for you, Sagittarius, so believe in yourself. You have invested wisely, have patience, and wait for the harvest. Because your progress, review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor, but keep things hidden. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, and claim your personal power. Sagittarius, um, withdraw from the drama of others. This is King of Wands. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Um, Sagittarius, so if you are this king of wands, this mature man, you're going to have to watch um, people in your neighborhood. Someone is telling half-truths. It's almost like uh, they're a thief. I don't know if someone's stealing your ideas, trying to case out your house, trying to steal your possessions. I don't know what the frick this is, Sagittarius, but if you were, someone is in need of finances, Sagittarius, and it's almost like
if you're this king of wands, it's almost like the person around you or was around you from your past, your past person. Um, there's is playing on your sympathies, your empathies for money. So keep your possessions, your manifestations a secret. Don't tell people what your plans are. Don't tell people what you're planning. Because there's a feminine energy here who who's corrupt, just bottom line. If you're the feminine Sag, that is the third party trying to find out what you got what you don't got Sag keep everything you're manifesting a secret I don't have to tell that to Sag Sag already knows that hey. So someone is not getting their dreams fulfilled and it's looking as if I think the past person wants to return to your life, Sagittarius. You're on a journey of discovering your life purpose. Don't lose yourself by trying to hold on to someone else. You're going to master your material reality in the near future. And be careful who and what you surround yourself with. You're a lot tougher than what you think that you are. All the right things will come to you in the most unexpected ways. Uh, somebody could be going through a period of loss, sadness. If your past people are telling you how happy they are, I don't care how they appear on the outside, on the inside, they, they are not happy. Let's see where this is going. Yeah, they're, you are getting Treasure Island. I'm telling you, you're manifesting here, Sagittarius. Wealth, um, here is the yin, and now you're rebuilding. You're at peace. You're rebuilding your life. All that glitter is not gold. There is no place like home. So, this person wants to return to your life. You are getting your milk and honey. Maybe some of you are buying real estate or investing in real estate. Keep your manifestations a secret. These are people stealing your ideas. Maybe they're actually snooping around your home, casing out your property, casing out your possessions. Um, it's a feminine energy doing this. Like I said, someone could be in a bad health. Going to court. courthouse is here twice because something is ending or something is ended this person is concerned is in despair they may have lost their job and maybe Oh my God, so this person is in bad health. Financial health and maybe physical health. Whoever they're married to or in a relationship with. You're this mature woman 
and they're in poverty and they're looking at you thinking about this mature woman, the family room. You could be traveling because you've got some unexpected money, things that you have toiled and labored for, you're getting high honor and respect. And I told you there's half truths here. They are dealing with a false person. And they intend on going to court. I don't know. They're a thief. I could be a gold digger. I don't know, marrying for money. Staying in a relationship for money. Hmm. This person is manipulating this King of Wands. They're going to hurt him bad. They're going to get a real bad hurt from this karmic energy. They are definitely... I can't say karmic, but they're a low vibrational thief. They, you know, they're going to court. This person is going to end up in bad health. They are going to end up regretting being with this false person. And this false person intends to hurt them real bad. They are going to get hurt real bad. This other lover could be a Gemini. I don't know. Whoever they're in a relationship with, that energy, that third party, intense on hurting this person real bad. Spying. Controlling. Ill health. Legal issues. Taking them to court and robbing them blind. Whoever this King of Wands is dealing with, whoever they married or are in a relationship with, they intend on hurting this King of Wands real bad. Legally, financially, health-wise, burden, 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 burden. They would like to apologize to you, Sagittarius. They're very depressed. They're down and out, and if they're not, they are going to be. I don't know who they are dealing with. The King of Swords is here. The King of Wands is here. Whoever they're dealing with that plans on destroying them. Financially, health-wise, legally, any way they can. Court. The past. This is a baby mama who is in it for the money. I'm telling you, that's the only reason they're there. Oil and labor. They plan on. Oh, Jesus. It's because this person sees you as the Ten of Cups, okay? They do. They 
plan on yeah they're very selfish self-centered it's like they don't want anybody around they don't want this person having any photographs of you they don't want them talking to you they don't their own they don't even want them talking to their own family members they're very controlling dominating and calculating they are the magician in a very bad way and this person is being stubborn because they're still in love with you they're very passionate about you and they know you're very confident and independent and i'm telling you that there is no place like home Jesus, Sagittarius, that's who broke up your relationship. That is who cut off all kind of communication with you. No messaging, no texting, no nothing. This, this karmic energy, this third party doesn't even want them talking to their own family. Their own family is turning on this person like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? They're confused, I'm telling you. There's some kind of... Deception, I'm telling you. Trapped them with a child. It's a game to keep this person stuck. People, I don't know, like that spell work. I, I'm sorry, but it is. I don't even think this person knows what the hell is going on. I really don't. Now, I'm not an advocate of spell work, guys. You, anybody who knows me knows that. But it is what it is. I don't know what this person is, who this person is, but they're very dark. They're keeping this person confused. They're so confused, confused. They could be doing confusion spells on this person. Yeah, this person is not happy. This person is depressed. This person could be getting ill, sickness, can't figure out why. Why am I always sick? How come I'm losing my money? How come I'm so confused? How come... It's just like they're, they're blank. It's their own body telling them that they're with a dark energy, a dark entity. This person is very dark who they're with. So do not think that it's anything you said did Sagittarius because it's definitely not. Now, this person might have been a sneak. This person might have been cheating. But I'm telling you, it's because there is some kind of confusion spells they're around and associating with dark energies. I don't even think they're aware of it. I don't think they're aware of it. <clears throat> It's because this energy wanted who you had, what you had. It's almost as if no, they're not happy. Look, they're in despair. Okay, they are in despair. 
they're angry, they're hostile, they're aggressive, they can't understand, they're con so confused. And they are going to be... <sighs> this third party intends on using them, draining them of all their resources, their finances, their energy, leave them sick and hurt. I'm telling you before they are ever going to walk away from this energy. They will walk away from that energy when they have nothing left to give. When they're sick, when they're broke, when they are, they got nothing left off or they're going to walk away on this person and leave them out in the cold. They're going to hurt this person real bad, physically, emotionally, financially. It's here. Until they have nothing left to give. They're going to leave them dead on the road. This is the biggest betrayal of all time. I know you were betrayed, Sagittarius, but never wish karma on people because you're being blessed. And this person is going to experience 10 times the amount of pain that was delivered to you. And I'm not wishing that on anybody. It's in the read. It's here. And that's what my story. And I'm sticking to it. I don't wish ill on this person, Sagittarius. I don't wish ill on this person. But that is when this karmic is going to release this person. When they're completely destroyed and devastated this is sick that's a sicko yep i'm telling you right now they're still holding on to you sagittarius look i'm telling you right now they're being stole from They are with a sneaky ass frickin manipulator, a magician who is gaslighting the King of Wands. I told you it is win at all costs. They're a witch for real. They're a dark witch. I'm sorry it's here. They are a dark witch and they are casting spells. They are out to destroy. Spirit is protecting you with high honor and integrity. I do not think that they can affect you, Sagittarius. I think they're concentrated on this King of Wands. That's who I think they're concentrated on. So win at all costs, envious, jealous, destructive force, and they're, oh my God. That's why they're not talking to you. This person is being blocked off from everyone. This is a feminine narcissist. So if your person was a narcissist, Sag, they met their match. This is a feminine narcissist who is out to destroy this king of wands until there is nothing left that they can offer. If they have money, they're going to be okay. 
but they don't want them talking to family. They don't want them talking to friends. They don't want them talking to you. They are controlling this person's life, and it's not like this person's energy. Like they themselves are controlling and stubborn. But this energy, who they're with, like who controls an emperor? They're an emperor. They're a king of wands. They're a leader. They're not listening to their family. They're not listening to their friends who are warning them, telling them they're not listening to you, Satch. They're under the influence. <coughs> this is a dark witch. Very vindictive, win at all costs. I will destroy. They're going to get their karma. You are being protected, Sagittarius. Oh my God. If this third party ever found out that you were talking to this person, they'd be out to get you. They would be out to get you. They'd be prowling around the, your neighborhood, prowling around your house, sabotaging your vehicle, sabotaging your, your home, you, whatever and whoever they could get their hands on. Because they're not releasing this King of Wands until they have nothing to offer. So it would be almost a blessing in disguise if they're broke <clears throat> that's their only security that's the only escape that this king of wands is ever going to get until they are absolutely destroyed this is a dark witch and i'm not saying that because of any other reason other than it's in this reading they're a dark witch they are doing black magic. They are doing dark spell work. They're not releasing this King of Wands. If you ever wanted to know if the King of Wands has come back into your life, they are not until this person is destroyed, has zero money, homeless, broke ass, sick, mentally, physically, and financially drained then they'll release them because they're no good for nothing. That's when this King of Wands is going to talk to you, Sagittarius. And don't kid yourself. They are being monitored every move they make. Do not talk to this person, Sagittarius. No matter if you still have feelings for them, no matter if you still love them, say your prayers. If you're talking to this King of Wands, this crazy person is out to get you. Bottom line, they're not releasing <clears throat> this masculine until they're destroyed. And if you are the King of Wands listening to this channel, you got to know that. Whoever they're in your, I don't know if it's your past person, if you are the King of Wands, or this is who you're married to or in a commitment with. They, they are, and I'm going to be real, they are a dark witch. For real, for real. I'm not just saying that to be mean. They're a dark witch. They are doing spell work. If you are feeling confused, if you are feeling disoriented, if you're feeling sick all the time, if you're missing days from work and don't understand why, it's because you are under spell work. If you're not talking to your family or you get a problem every time you talk to your family, your friends, this one is blocking people off 
social media. This one is blocking people from their phone. You can only talk to certain people at certain times when they're around. This is a control freak. And when this King of Wands got nothing left to give, that's when this karmic will be done with them when they're good for nothing. Destroyed. Left dead on the road. They're doing spell work. Hmm. And, you know, I, like I said, I'm not into the spell work jazz, okay? That's why I don't get affected by these energies. Because it's like you have to believe in that in order for it to work. But if you're at, say, if you're not into spiritual protection or know anything about it, you're a sitting target. Like this one does not know, it's not spiritual. They're just a regular person. They don't believe in spiritualism. They don't believe in black magic. They don't believe in this or that or the other thing. They're just a regular person who works. They're not, they're unawakened. That's why they're a target. If they ever awoken, this King of Wands would be more powerful. Nobody could affect them or touch them. They need help. They need spiritual help. But Sagittarius, I would not mess with that energy at all. I would pray for them. I'd pray for yourself. I don't see them affecting so much. The target is not the feminine Sag as much as the target is the masculine. Because they've already destroyed your relationship. You know what I mean? So the heat's off of you, but if you're still talking to this person, the heat's not off. Nope. They just got to get a hint or a sniff that you're talking to this person. They would freak the hell out. There would be no stopping this person. Except for the law. You know. Well, um, if you are under attack, I can tell you right now, you got to go salt your property, your vehicles. You got to do the prayers. You got to get. I'm telling you that if you're under attack, you got to get a spirit filled Christian, even if that's yourself, if you are a spirit filled Christian. A clergyman who's spirit-filled, a friend who's spirit-filled, and walk the perimeter of your property, even your neighborhood, and place salt on all four corners of your property. Because this one is, the, they're crazy. They're obsessed with control, obsessed with who this person talks to, who they're seeing, where they're going. I feel like we should do a prayer vigil, guys. I think I might do that today, later on. I might go live. And I think, you know, there is power in numbers, guys. I know a lot of you are in need of prayer. And I can't think of better warriors than Sagittarius. Spiritual warriors coming together to fight for justice and saying prayers. I think we should do a vigil and pray for our brothers and sisters who are experiencing these attacks. That's bullshit. It's not allowed. 
not allowed. Wherever two or more are gathered in his name's sake, there shall I be in their midst. You need power. There is power in numbers. If you guys are interested in doing a prayer vigil, please leave it in the comments because I think it's needed. Enough of these getting uh, bullied. This, this is a bully. A spiritual bully, a physical bully. They've been getting away with it for too long and thinking that they're too powerful. Don't give them the power. The power is with the universe. Spirit is power. Time to take action and fight when do what we're called here to do. We're not just called here to listen to tarot. We are called to help one another out in tough times. And prayers are heard. Wherever two or more are joined together in his name's sake, there shall I be in their midst. There is power in prayer and numbers. So I think we should do a vigil for those of you who are experiencing this energy. Why just talk about it when we can do something about it? I'm going to read the comments. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know. I'm not afraid of these energies, guys. There's nothing to fear from these energies. Nothing. very very just a vindictive energy you know what I mean if I can't have them nobody's gonna have them just sadistical really that's a that's an, a feminine narcissist they are a narcissist and there is no helping them absolutely not not for me. I ain't giving them no help, but I'll help those who are in need of help. <laughs> this one, they're off the rocker. They're on their own. I'm not praying for them, but I shall pray for the people who are uh, victims of them. No problem. It's made in motion. That's sending intention right back out there, man. You got to hit it head on. You cannot run from it. You cannot flee from it. You got to hit it head on. Greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. If you believe in spirit, spirit is stronger than any of your enemies. You are stronger. You're more powerful than what you realize. I think we should do a vigil and strengthen one another, especially when you're up against um, idiots who, they're just idiots, I'm sorry, but they are, and I think that it's time to claim back our powers from these people who are setting out to cause us mayhem. Take care.